And we are back with another video, folks. And today, today, well, it's a different kind of video. This is a I want your input video. This is a truth, facts, reality. Get past the fantasy of being a YouTuber and people thinking that I just blow through money like it's nothing. I'm going to be straight up transparent with you all about what's coming, what could happen, what I probably have to deal with, and some decisions that I have to make probably in the next month or so. Maybe I'll have a little bit more time to make this decision, but I don't know, and that's why I need to deal with this now. And I thought, what the hell? Why not make a video about this and bring you all into this decision-making process? I talked about it with my wife yesterday and over lunch. We were down in La Jolla overlooking the ocean, having a great, great brunch. And, and I thought, you know, I, I would love her input because she was so right about this swinger. And when I started sharing with her, of course, her response was sell everything, start all over and get exactly what you want and get the perfect cars and buy me another house. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> all right. So um, that wasn't the question. The question was, which cars do I keep? And in anticipation of the Demon 170 coming, what direction should I go with the channel also because you all have made it very clear and I totally appreciate this and respect this that not a single one of you actually maybe one of you I mean, one of you always comments you would rather have sharp sticks stuck into your eyeballs than watch a video about my Lamborghini I don't know if this thing's open nope it's not about my Lamborghini this is not a car that excites any of you, none of you want to see this thing on the channel. When it is on the channel, I think my last video with the Lamborghini, which I thought was a fun video, didn't get any views. I think, I mean, geez, I had a kid jump in the car and rev it. It was at a car meet. It was awesome. It was just, what an incredible time. Nonetheless, 1,400 measly views. I haven't had that few views since, I don't know, five years ago. And even then, the views were better than that. So this is not something that excites anyone on the channel, even though it excites me tremendously. I love it, but at the same time, it needs to get a little repair on the bumper still, and I can't find the part, and I think I need a fuse. My air conditioning <laughs> went out last week. So it's either going to be a fuse for 10 cents, which I really believe that it is. At least I went to church and prayed, hoping that it is, or it's going to be... A $5,000 repair, so I know everyone in the comments is going to write, sell the Lamborghini, get rid of the Lamborghini. Beautiful thing about this thing is I have almost nothing on this car, so I can get a ton of cash flooded into my household to put towards the Demon 170 or pay cash for the Demon 170 and not even look back. And while this channel is a Mopar channel, it completely fits much better. But then I get rid of my Lamborghini, and my wife's suggestion was, you know what? You can always get another Lamborghini. And you can get a newer Lamborghini, and you get the bigger Lamborghini, get the one I want, which I either want a Murcielago or a Huracan. Most likely, I'd get the Huracan just because I don't like repairs, and the, Hur the Murcielagos, you need to have basically the amount of two of those cars in the bank to be able to have those and not end up broke. But this, this is a lot more, you know, reasonable to own, even though when it breaks, it's ridiculous with the Huracans. Bulletproof. You can drive the wheels off of them. It's basically an Audi that looks really cool with a V10 in it. So she says, wait, by summer next year, you can get your Huracan. You can still do the Demon and everything else. But why am I getting so much pressure? Why is there so much pressure? Well, there's only so much money. I live in Southern California in Orange County, and it's very, very expensive to live here. A regular house, a regular house is well over a million dollars. These are not like mansions and it's well over a million dollars live in Orange County and I love it here and my job is here my family's here no I'm not moving out of the state because I'm not gonna leave everybody that I love and care about and enjoy being around that's just not gonna happen nor am I gonna rip my daughter away from all her friends in her budding years of teenage and and budding adulthood so get that out of your head so it costs a fortune so I stroke the check for the six figures in taxes every single year and I just muscle through it but nonetheless, there is an affordability thing where I have to be smart and not blow all the money on cars just because I have this, this aspiration to be a YouTuber. But then takes me over to this beautiful pink thing, which is my wife's car. This is a 2021 Land Rover Defender. And I bought this a week before I bought the Lamborghini. And it's because it was my wife's dream car. She fell in love with it. And I canceled my Huracan order to buy the Gallardo. 
so that I could buy her this because this was just under $100,000. The Gallardo was just under $100,000. The Huracan was $200,000 at the time. So basically I got two cars, got her, her car, got me, my car, and everybody was happy. And it's really worked out awesomely, except three years is coming up, meaning this is a lease because we would never purchase a Land Rover without a warranty because this is the most beautiful giant rolling piece of junk ever made in the history of cars this thing breaks it just got out of the shop again for some random suspension things and the door back door wouldn't open that's land rovers but she loves it i'm not even allowed to talk negatively about it with her around or she'll get mad at me and not talk to me for a day but that is the deal with this so this this thing has five thousand miles left on the warranty and it is the lease is up in April, meaning we need to start figuring this thing out now. Interest rates are still high, so we're not going to pull the trigger today. But I expect that by April, hopefully things will level out just a little bit. I don't expect that they will, but if they do, we'll at least get a better rate on the car and be able to get her the car that she wants, which is the exact same thing, but the 130, which is longer, looks like a school bus. But this thing needs to go. So I need to be able to purchase a $100,000 car for her. Pull the trigger on the $100,000, actually $120,000, right, Demon 170, and then we've got my daughter's car, which that's not going anywhere. That car will stay here because she loves it. Even when we joke around about trading it in on something, she's just like, absolutely not. Go check out her channel. Her new video is going to be up in a few days where we added some little stuff to this car for her birthday and... It is just her dream car. So this thing won't be going anywhere, but nonetheless, that's about $50,000. So we've got $100,000, $100,000, $50,000, $70,000, just call it sixty-five. I don't know, and the Swinger, which is the next subject. So I just bought this thing, and you all know that I love this car. This car is probably my favorite looking car I've ever had. Definitely one of the most favorite driving cars I've ever had. And frankly, if it wasn't for this Demon 170 looming in the future, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> I would just keep this car and be happy with it and call it a day because it's perfect. I love it in every way. I've got the hood pins, got the cool wheels, got the great interior, it's got the shaker hood, six speed manual, everything about this car, the wide body, I love, except for the name Swinger, as I shared in my last video. So this car I just bought for like $68,000, put 3,000 miles on it, and it's probably not going to get too many more miles driven on it for a little while because I'm going to be driving that as my daily for now so that I don't wear the miles out on this thing because I can't find a Toyota Prius or Camry, which I had two of those or one of those each, and now those are marked up to the moon because Toyota restricted inventory and their prices are stupid and they don't have anything available. So I'm going to milk that thing since I can put cheap gas in it and it gets actually decent gas mileage and mostly on the highway, about 23, 25 miles a gallon compared to this thing, which is physically impossible. Plus I hate wearing it out. So this car, I need to figure out what I'm going to do with this. So the demon, let's say the demon shows up, let's say I talk, well, I talked to my good friend, racer x the other day and he says basically how this is going to work it's working for him is he's he got notified that he's got about two weeks before that car shows up and get your money together well i have the money to be able to pay cash for that demon 170 and i was feeling really good about doing that and my wife and i had that conversation that that thwarts our a little bit of our ability to be able to pull some other things off i've got to pull that off and you know it's just you know, I've got to sell the, you know, I sell the Lamborghini, pick up a ton of cash there. So it's a lot of moving around. So my thought is, is rather than having to pull that cash out of the market, which by the way, isn't doing real good right now, meaning I'd probably have to take a loss. So let's say I pull out $120,000 in cash out of my investment accounts right now. If the market's down when I need to do that, and it doesn't recover in the two week period, I need to get it there. Then I will probably end up paying $150,000 in total cash for that demon and I don't want to have to do that so could I get another loan yes the Navy Federal said they would give me another loan but with interest rates the way they are right now I'm still gonna be looking at probably nine percent to be able to get that demon loan which means the car payments gonna be I don't know I'll put it up on the screen what two thousand dollars a month or something which is kinda of crazy and stupid so my thought is as much as it's gonna break my heart that I need to sell some stuff and for sure I'm thinking my wife's right. The Lamborghini is going to go because I need to set myself up for that Huracan by summer of next year. It just makes all the sense in the world. Let's do that. So 
that thing goes. But do I need two challengers? If I've got a demon coming, why do I need a swinger? Now, if I got a demon, it's the same exact body of the car, we'll just get the demon and then get a daily driver. That means this thing has to go. So if this thing goes, I would like to be able to sell it to one of you before I have to go trade it in or sell it on the open market to a stranger. So if anyone's interested in this car, in case I decide that this has to go to bring the demon into the house, tell me what you would pay for it. Be Don't be stupid. You want to be a response if you're ridiculous. And I'll keep you in my back pocket if and when that demon shows up so that you can be the person that takes this car from me. And I don't know, I think you'd love it. It's great if I decide to sell it. Not 100% sure what I'm going to do yet. Which takes me over to this thing, my famous cop car, which we added a recent modification, which was bullet holes to the side of the cop car. So the cop car is going for sale to be replaced by a daily driver. So the cop car is awesome. This thing is perfect, 107,000 miles now, got it with like 96,000 miles on it. Not a single issue with it. Been staying on top of the oil, put brand new tires on it, air conditioning's freshly charged. This car is perfect, not a single issue. Drove it all the way across country and back, then drove it to Monterey from SoCal, uh, another you know, thousand, few thousand miles or whatever, drove it all around during car week, and not a single issue with this car. This thing is a tank. It is nicer than any Crown Vic out there you'll find. Now, yes, can you find Crown Vics for four or $5,000 all day long? But you'll need to put four or $5,000 into them or have a car leaking a bunch of stuff sitting in your driveway not running. But this thing, none of those issues, this thing is perfect because it was at the Getty Museum, so it has a great heritage to it, great provenance to it, where I have the pink slip that shows this was owned by the Getty Family Trust, so the Getty Museum, yes, that family, same family, which was an LAPD car before they bought it as a decoy car to keep people from breaking in or causing issues in the parking lot at night in that, uh, their museum. So this thing is going to go up for sale, and I hate to say goodbye to it, but I need to replace it with a daily driver that is better at gas mileage, even though this will suffice for now. And this thing, it comes with everything. It's got all the radios, the lights, the siren, got the porcupine antennas all over it. So this thing's going to go up for sale, and I don't know what it'll go for. I mean, really, just a reasonable offer, and somebody can take this thing. And it's, I would say, somewhere between 10 and 15 grand if you want a great example of a car with a great lineage and past connected to it in absolute stellar condition. I think I got the keys on me. You can see inside of it. So, this is the cop car. This thing comes with the CB radio, the sirens, the PA system, a GMRS radio, and all the mounts and stuff as well. The special YouTuber special mounts so we can film in this thing. And it also comes with two GMRS walkie-talkies and one CB radio walkie-talkie. So you've got multiple ways of communicating with your friends and family and this thing is just perfect i'm going to drive it this week for work and it, it just goes perfectly it's awesome and if you want i can even have the door wrapped with whatever you want on the side you want to make this thing into a gotham police car you want to make this thing into something you know i don't know marvel comics or something like that i can get that done and probably get that thrown into the deal so this could be your cop car if you really want to rock the OC Motivator, that's up to you, but I don't think you're going to want to do that, and I will make this thing special for you if you want to buy it, so let me know. But I'm not going to probably go active on the market with this stuff, but I just have to plan that something's going to happen. The other issue we have is I have no parking. There is shuffling going on with all these cars, and my wife is going to murder me. The demon's going to show up. That's going to go in the garage, probably where the Lamborghini is if I sell the Lamborghini, and, you know, I'm going to take it out and have fun with it, but I got to be smart with that Lamborghini or that Demon 170 because it's the Demon 170. I'm not going to leave that thing out in the street. So what do you think I should do? A lot of moving parts, $350,000 in cars in my driveway right now, and I would like to liquidate $200,000 worth of them and start fresh. Demon, daily driver, wait till summer of next year, get my Huracan, and we have a lot of fun on the channel. 
And what should I get as a daily driver? No, I'm not going to buy a Hornet. But what should I get? I was thinking about doing a full JDM kit on a new Prius, which would be hilarious and awesome. Because I'll put a picture up on the screen and show you what these things look like. They look insane. But i got to be able to find one to be able to do that. Plus, I get 65 miles to the gallon. And if I can get the plug-in hybrid, I can get a tax break, which I desperately need. So with that, everybody, that's what's going on in the house right now. A lot of juggling, a lot of decisions to be made. And you know what? It's hard to swallow the pill on all these decisions because I wish I could just keep everything. But I also have to be smart. That teenager right there is brilliant. She's awesome at sports. She's a phenomenal lacrosse player. And she gets great grades, which means she's going to want to go to a good college. So that's going to be another probably $300,000 to put her through that. So I'm just trying to be smart while I'm working through this stuff, which means some of these things got to go. So what do you think? This goes, Lambo goes, cop car goes, and anybody who wants any of these things, let me know. Hit me up on Instagram if you're serious. If you come at me with some stupid price on this thing and say, oh, you should do a giveaway. I'm not doing a giveaway. I don't have enough subscribers to do a giveaway without getting burned badly. And I don't ever want to be put in that position or put you in that position. But I will make a deal with somebody that is fair considering what the market looks like. But I will not act like a car dealership. If all the offers are what they are, then that's what the market is. It's just it is what it is. So that's the story with that. So folks... Please like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think. And in the end, it could just happen, the demon shows up and we end up having just too many cars for a little while. And that's gonna be hairy if that happens because uh, yeah, I will be a little bit stressed. So <laughs> let me know what you think I should do. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.